the Fatimid dynasty, ambition, expansion, and legacy in Islamic history. In the annals of Islamic history, few stories are as captivating and complex as the rise and fall of the Fatimid dynasty. Please do not forget to like, share, comment on the video, and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to receive notification of new videos. Originating from North Africa and eventually expanding to the Middle East, the Fatimid caliphs aspired to reshape the Islamic world, challenging the prevailing Sunni dominance of the Abbasid caliphs. The dynasty's claim to legitimacy, rooted in their descent from Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad, lent them a potent mix of religious and political authority. This blend fueled their ambition to establish a universal caliphate under their Ismaili Shia doctrine. The Fatimid dynasty emerged in 909 CE, a period when the Islamic world was predominantly under Sunni rule, particularly the Abbasids in Baghdad. Previous rulers in North Africa and Egypt had managed to operate with relative independence from the Abbasids, but had remained Sunni Muslims, offering nominal recognition to the caliphate in Baghdad. The Fatimids, however, sought to upend this status quo. As leaders of the Ismaili sect, they not only denied the legitimacy of the Abbasid caliphs, but also presented themselves as the true custodians of the Islamic faith and rightful caliphs, by virtue of their descent from the Prophet through his daughter Fatima and her husband Ali. The early years of the Fatimid state were marked by significant challenges. The Caliph al-Mahdi, reigned 909-934, faced resistance from various quarters, including Sunni Muslims and Karijitis, as well as internal dissent among the Ismailis themselves. The political landscape of North Africa was volatile, with conflicts involving Berber groups and neighboring Muslim rulers, alongside ongoing military engagements with the Byzantine Empire in Sicily and Italy. Despite these obstacles, the Fatimids remained focused on their ultimate goal, to expand eastward and challenge the Abbasid stronghold directly. The conquest of Egypt in 969 was a pivotal moment in Fatimid history. Under the leadership of al-Mu'iz, reigned 953-975, the Fatimid forces successfully captured the Nile Valley, extending their control into Palestine and southern Syria. They established Cairo as their new capital, a city destined to become a center of learning and culture, symbolized by the foundation of Al-Ajjar Mosque and University. This expansion into Egypt significantly bolstered the Fatimids' power and influence, positioning them as a formidable rival to the Abbasids. For the next century, the Fatimids governed a vast empire that, at its zenith, stretched from North Africa through the Red Sea coast to Yemen, and included the holy cities of Mecca and Medina. The caliph's dual role as both a sovereign ruler and an Ismaili imam endowed him with immense religious authority, further legitimizing their rule in the eyes of their followers. This combination of imperial power and spiritual leadership set the Fatimid caliphs apart from their contemporaries. Central to the Fatimid mission was the propagation of Ismaili doctrine. They established extensive networks of missionaries and agents to promote their beliefs and gather support across the Islamic world. This clandestine mission, intricately organized, functioned almost as a third arm of the Fatimid government, alongside the military and bureaucracy. Ismaili theology provided a robust ideological foundation, challenging the Abbasid claims and asserting the Fatimid right to the caliphate. Eminent theologians, based initially in Tunisia and later in Cairo, produced seminal works that articulated Ismaili doctrine, which became instrumental in the Fatimid strategy. Economically, the Fatimids pursued policies aimed at enhancing trade routes, particularly focusing on the Red Sea Corridor. By doing so, they sought to undermine the Persian Gulf route controlled by Sunni powers, thereby weakening their rivals' economic base. This commercial strategy was part of a broader effort to establish the Fatimids as a dominant force not only in religious and political terms, but also in economic affairs. The peak of Fatimid expansion eastward was reached between 1057 
and 1059, when a dissident general in Iraq declared allegiance to the Fatimid Caliph, momentarily establishing Fatimid influence in Mosul and Baghdad. However, this brief success was short-lived due to the intervention of the Seljuk Turks. This marked the beginning of a decline in Fatimid power and influence. Internally, the Fatimid state began to face significant challenges. Al-Hakim reigned 996-1021, known for his eccentricities, saw the personal authority and religious prestige of the caliphate begin to wane. His successors increasingly became puppets in the hands of their viziers and generals. The long reign of al-Mustansir, reign 1036-1094, witnessed Egypt descend into anarchy, exacerbated by famine and plague, leading to a loss of territories and weakening of central control. By the time of Badr al-Jamali's rise to power in 1073, the Fatimid state had become a military regime. While Badr managed to restore some order and prosperity, the regime's focus shifted away from the original Ismaili mission. Later military rulers, although effective in maintaining stability, were not committed to Ismailism, which further diluted the Fatimids' religious and political ethos. The Fatimids' decline accelerated with internal dissent and external pressures. The split within the Ismaili community, following al-Mustansir's death in 1094, leading to the formation of the Nizari Ismailis, the assassins, weakened the Fatimids' religious cohesion. The Crusades and the rise of the Seljuks further compounded their difficulties. By 1171, the Fatimid Caliphate had become a mere local dynasty with no real power or influence. The last Fatimid Caliph passed away, and Saladin, who had emerged as the true ruler of Egypt, formally ended the Fatimid Caliphate. The Fatimid legacy, however, endures. Their contributions to Islamic art, culture, and architecture, particularly in Cairo, remain influential. The establishment of Al-Azhar University continues to be a beacon of Islamic learning. The Ismaili community, although divided, persists to this day with its roots deeply embedded in the Fatimid era. The story of the Fatimids is a testament to their ambition, resilience, and the complex interplay of religion and politics in shaping historical legacies. Please subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon. Thank you.